we want to solve the given exponential equations. To do this, we'll be using logarithms. So in general, when solving an exponential equation with one exponential part, like these examples, we want to isolate the exponential part, take either the common log or natural log of both sides of the equation in order to solve for x. So looking at our first example, we have 3 raised to the power of x divided by 4 equals 10. Notice the exponential part is already isolated on the left side of the equation. So let's go ahead and take the natural log of both sides of the equation. Now the reason we want to use either natural log or common log is we will have to use the calculator in order to solve these problems. Now that we've taken the natural log of both sides of the equation, we can now apply the power property of logarithms to the left side to move the exponent into the front so it becomes the coefficient. So now we can write this as x divided by 4 times natural log 3 equals natural log 10. And now we'll solve this equation for x. Let's start by dividing both sides by natural log 3. This simplifies to 1, so we have x divided by 4 equals natural log 10 divided by natural log 3. And now to solve for x, we'll multiply both sides of the equation by 4. Remember, you can think of this as 4 over 1. So when multiplying by the right side, we only have to multiply the numerator by 4. This simplifies to 1, so we have x equals this quotient here, which we will have to round. So now we'll go to the calculator. Our numerator is 4 times natural log 10 divided by natural log 3. So x is approximately 8.3836. We should check our solution. This means 3 raised to the power of 8.3836 divided by 4 should be approximately equal to 10 since this is rounded. 3 raised to the power of 8.3836 divided by 4. Notice how it is approximately 10. We did round down, and that's the reason why it's just less than 10. Let's take a look at our second example. Again, notice there's only one exponential part, and it's already isolated. So we'll take either the common log or natural log of both sides of the equation. Let's go and take the natural log again. So the natural log of 2 raised to the power of negative x divided by 5 equals the natural log of 61. And now we'll apply the power property of logarithms on the left side. So we can take this exponent here and move it to the front. So now we have negative x divided by 5 times natural log 2 equals natural log 61. And now to solve this equation for x, we'll start by dividing both sides by natural log 2. This simplifies to 1. So now we have negative x divided by 5 equals natural log 61 divided by natural log 2. And now to undo this division, we'll multiply both sides by 5. But since we want a positive x, let's multiply both sides by negative 5, or negative 5 over 1 if we want. Notice on the left side, 5 over 5 simplifies to 1. Negative negative x is equal to x. This is going to equal negative 5 natural log 61 divided by natural log 2. Let's go ahead and get a decimal approximation for this. So x is approximately negative 29.6537. And to check this, we'll sub this x value back into the original equation. Notice how we have a negative in the equation and x is negative. So this is going to be 2 to the power of positive 29.6537 divided by 5 should be approximately equal to 61.
And as you can see, our solution checks. Okay, we'll take a look at some more examples in the next video.